Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And uh, Puzzle has come in from Marusia Dark, who has been a generous uh, sponsor on our streams and regular commenter, has engaged with the channel a lot lately. So uh, I'm going to give it a go and we'll see how we get on. Um, I'm absolutely fascinated. The grid is filled with arrows. Normally I'm puzzling about why... Yeah, why we have so few arrows and how the puzzle can solve uniquely. This is a different setup, so looking forward to giving that a try. Do pledge to our Kickstarter if you haven't already. Um, we'd love to reach some more stretch goals, and the, the number of people seems to have dried up a bit, but uh, we're delighted that we've got as many of you as we have already having signed up to help us make... Um, Cracking the Cryptic's Greatest Hits Volume 2. We're really looking forward to bringing that to you. There's going to be some amazing puzzles in it already, and there may be more if we get more signed up. Uh, now, there's also on Patreon, we are still running Another Language. I've remembered its name by Shai Jovial, and his brilliant authors have created a puzzle, a, a classic Sudoku, and we're inviting you to tell us the best solution path and the there is a prize for the best explanation. Now, what else is going on? I don't know. You can check out all the links under the video. You can see our apps, Sven Sudoku Pad. You can see um, how to get to the Kickstarter and the catalog and everything. So uh, Discord. But the first link is to this puzzle, Gridlocked. And, oh yeah, Marusha said it was based on the, the kids' sort of game Rush Hour, where you have a number of cars on a in a grid that, that represents a, a car park or a parking lot and you have to work out how to slide them around to get them out and that that's the theme behind this one um and i think the email said that i tried to get it so every every arrow was touching an hour and i didn't no so that every number was touch every cell was touching an hour i think that meant an arrow i'm not really sure anyway we have three given digits that aren't on arrows and we have a lot of arrows why are two of the arrows green just so we don't mix them up with other arrows basically uh so the rules very simple normal sudoku rules apply one to nine in every row column and box and digits along an arrow sum to the number in the attached circle and can include repeat digits that's it do give it a try. I am going to start now. Let's get cracking. What do we do? I mean, this is this is such a different problem. Normally, I'm looking at five arrows in a grid and going, how can that give a unique solution? But there's obviously somewhere to start. Here, it is not obvious where we start. I don't know whether it's some sort of profusion confusion or something. Okay, here's something that I would normally look for, and it's just a bit obscure in this because there's so many arrows. These five cells are all on the arrows that lead to these two circles. Now, the least that the five cells can add up to is 15. The most that these two circles can add up to is 17, and that's because the minimum digits for these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They all have to be different. They're in the same box. The maximum digits for these are 9 and 8. And that's why we get these totals of 15 to 17. Now, that means these two cells add up to at least 15, which I would normally write, I'd normally say they have to therefore include 6, 7, 8, or 9 only. Well, these C are 6, so they're from 7, 8, 9 only. And I suppose that means there must, no, I was going to say there must be a 9 in them, but that isn't true. Must there be a 7 in them because of this? Not necessarily. These could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9 there, and 5, 6 here. So, I don't know. That kind, that logic kind of runs out a bit there. And they don't seem... I mean, these 6 arrows add up to at least 21 because they must have 6 different digits on, all being in box 6. But they are the total of those three circles. And they could add up to, well, 21 easily. They could add up to as much as 
26 with two nines there and an eight there. That's a lot of degrees of freedom. Okay, maybe in this middle box, if we add up, well, I was going to take those two, those two, and those two. They must add up to at least 21. Actually, let's just extend it. Okay, what I was going to do, let's color in these. Those three and that cell are the total of those three circles. Now, we're already up to at least 21 plus 1, 22 in the yellow. And the blues could be a 9, 8, and a 9 there. That's 26, which is only 4 degrees of freedom. That's better than the situation in box 6. But we've got other digits to add. So let's add these two on and that. And now if that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that would have to be at least 7. So we've got 20. Well, I might as well do this one as well. What am I going to get now? We've got a max. Sim, no, a minimum of 1 to 8, which adds up to 36 there. Plus 1 is 37, plus 1 and 2 is 40. Now, you could have a 9, 8 in column 5 in the blue. A 9, 8 is 34. Mm, we could get to 43. So I've reduced it to 3 degrees of freedom. I don't think that's actually that helpful. Bother. Oh, must. I was wondering where does. Oh, where does nine. OK, I was starting to wonder where does nine go in this box and did I know it was up there? And I don't. However, obviously, and I am being very slow here. The simple question is, where does 9 go in box 5? All of these arrows are at least two cells. Now, even an arrow that goes between diagonally between two boxes like this one, let's bear in mind that, that from the start, that could be two ones adding up to a two. So it doesn't really tell you much. However, you could never put a 9 in either cell because it would have to add to something else to give a Sudoku digit. Now, the whole point is all these yellow cells in box 5, they can't be 9s. There are, well, none of those is a one cell arrow. There is a one cell arrow in the grid. In fact, there are two of them. One's green. But none of these ones are one cell arrows. So none of them can be 9. And we know where 9 goes in the center. And I could have done that in the first two seconds of solving the puzzle, but I've only just worked it out. Now, look, we can chase nines around the grid, perhaps. Those can't be nines because they're on arrows that aren't one cell arrows. Those can't be nines because of the nine we've placed. So that's a nine. And up here, these can't be nines or those. And now those can't be. So nines in one of those two cells. So one of those is a nine because that can't be. Uh, let's keep going. One of these two is a 9. I have a feeling it's probably going to be that one, but I don't know this yet. Ah, woo. This could be a 9. That's very annoying. Because if it couldn't be a 9... Then I could put a 9 in one of those. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. This. Look, I can't. I was going to put a 9 in one of these two cells. But look what that, look what that makes happen to 9 in this box. This can't be 9. It's on a multiple arrow. None of these, and they're all the same. None of those can be 9. So, in fact, 9 is in one of those two cells. If you were to put a 9 in one of these two, no good, because you couldn't put a 9 there. You would have a 9 there, but the green arrow says that needs another 9 here. So, 9 is not in those two cells. I was going to say that means it's here, but actually it can still be here. So, it's in one of those two in box 7. Ah. I've got, oh, no, 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 okay, I'm in business. Where is it in row eight? It's not in these two. It can't be on any of the arrows. Ah, oh, this is clever. So it must be in one of those two, but we've just worked out it can't be there because we get the nine here. So that's a nine. I could have put it in there, but 
before I wouldn't have been doing it logically, whereas now I am. That can't be a nine, so that's not a nine, so that's a nine, and that's a nine, and this isn't a nine, which is quite interesting for the degrees of freedom in yellow versus blue, which I haven't actually rubbed out yet. Um, now, I don't know down here. Oh, hang on, that's not a nine, and, oh, well, nine's in one of those two. Oh, I'm a bit stuck. I don't I don't quite know how to resolve the rest of the nines, but maybe I can't at this stage. Now, I am tempted. Let's let's just I'm tempted to move on to eights, but let's add up the yellows first again and just see where we are at now. 36 there plus 1 and 2 there is 39 plus 1 there 40, minimum 40. The maximum for the blues 34, 42. I could nearly fill an 8 in here, but actually I think it can still be a 6, just. If we had 9, 8 there, 8 there. Yeah, I can't do that yet. Okay. Nothing's really happened up here. Hmm, okay, eights. I was going to look at eights. Because, for instance, down here, you can't put eights in these cells because they would need a nine in the circle, which can't go there. Maybe I should colour off the circles which can't be a nine, and then I'll know where eights can't be. I'm going to do it. I'm gonna do, I think this is a bit crazy, but I'm going to do it. These circles, just going to green them for a mo. I probably won't keep this, but these circles can't be nines. So if their arrows are two cells long, they can't have an eight on the arrow. And I think that means that none of these cells can be an eight. Over that one can. No, this is... Oh, I'm trying to isolate eights. Oh, look, that can't be... You can't have an eight up here. Hmm. You can't have an 8 there because you can't put a 1 there because of the given digit. You can't put an 8 there because of the total here. You can't put an 8 there because you can't put a 1 there. None of those can be 8. So 8 in the top row is somewhere up there. Now it could still be here with a 9. No, it couldn't. Because then these cells would add up to more than the 16 that you'd be left with. So that can't be an 8. So this is now a 9-8 pair. That's a finding. These add up to 17 as well. And they do include a 7 by Sudoku. So that is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 7 set. This is a 5, 6 pair. I can also put a 5, 6 here because of the single cell arrow. Oh, well, something's been done now. Um, now, something I noticed earlier is that these two digits have to be the same parity. What am I talking about, you wonder? Well, if you add up the total of whatever these digits turn out to be at the end, they're going to be, it's going to be even. I know that because those three add up to the same as that. So that's 2x, and 2x is always even. And the same is true for all these arrows that appear in columns 8 and 9 completely with their circles. So that whole set of digits is even. The total of the two columns is going to be even because it's two sets of the digits, one to nine. And that means these two are going to have to be left adding up to an even number. And that means their parity must be the same. But I don't know what it is. It could be a nine with a five or an eight with a six. They definitely add up to 14. And that doesn't help me solve the puzzle. Does that have to be eight? Yes, I think it does. Eight can't be there. Eight can't be on this arrow because it's three cells long. Eight can't be on this arrow because that can't be a nine. So eight in box two has to be there. Now, eight can't be there. We can place eight in box one. 
unsurprisingly, that didn't lose any of the degrees of freedom we had here. Oh, that one has come down a bit. This can't be 8 anymore. Mm, I don't know. We are still left with a degree of freedom in this yellow versus blue thing. So I'm not... I may never use the yellow versus blue thing, but I'm not taking out the colouring yet. Uh, 8. 8 could be there. 8 cannot be here or here. So 8 is in one of these cells. I'm not ruling it out of the green arrow because it could be there as well. But it could also be... Well, it is in one of these three. It's either an 8 one arrow or an 8 there. Okay, come on. Let's find something actually useful to do. Oh, we can't have 7 on this arrow because it would add up to at least 10. So 7 is definitely on this arrow with either 1 or 2 to add up to 8 or 9. Um, 8. Ah! Does this have to have a 1 on? Don't know. Could be... No, it doesn't, I don't think. There's lots of things it could be. Okay. Um, does this, is this going to be a 9? I don't know. Right, those are different. Because that is the same as that, and they're obviously different in box 3. So those are different, so none of these can be 5 or 6. Not interesting again. Ah, this pair can only be... It can't use a 6 or a 7. It's either 8, 1 or 5, 4. This pair is even more restricted. It can't use a 1, a 6 or a 7. It's got to be 4, 5. So these numbers are 1, 2 and 3 in some order. Ah, this, this, is, this is beautiful. This is really neat. Okay, this digit can't be 1, 4, 5, 6, 8 or 9. So it's 2, 3 or 7, but hang on. It can't be 7 because then the arrow would add up to at least 10. So that is 2 or 3. Now the problem is to get up to as many as 8. Previously I assumed this arrow, the difficulty was going to be to hold it down to 8. But now we have to get up to 8 and that's going to have to be a 3 here with a 2, 3 pair there. And that means this is a 1. Now we get a 7 in this yellow area, which was going to be the hard digit to place, but we've done it. Um, that 1 says this can't be a 1. Is that all it does? We've got this 3 here, though. Ooh, these digits are going to add, plus that, are going to add up to those two. I think if these weren't the maximum, if we come down one off the maximum, they could be 7 and 5, which equals 12. Then these will be 2, 4, 6, which already equals 12. And the sum can't work because that'll break it. So these have to be the maximum, 6, 7. These are 2, 4 and 5, which add up to 11. To make a 13 total, we need a 2 there. And that fixes 2. Actually, I could have, I could have known that was a 2 from that 4, 5 pair. I didn't see that. Um... Oh, but I don't know which way round these pairs go. Never mind. One, four, five, two, nine. Right. Neither of these can be three. Because you... No, that might not be true. That could be three with one and then two. Um, one of these two is a two. That one is not a two because we're not allowed to put a seven there. So that's a two. Uh, there's a three on one of these cells. I don't know. I'm getting sort of stuck again. Ah, oh, we've got this one that didn't remove the degrees of freedom in yellow. Oh, still don't know what that is. Ah, here's a thought about box six. Oh, this is quite nice. I think I'm going to know the parity of this digit. 
These two add up to 11. We've worked out they're different because those two are different and we've got obviously equality between those two. So those two add up to 11. This arrow adds up to 5 or 6. So the total we've now got in this box is 16 or 17, making the rest of the box add up to 29 or 28. But it has to be even because it's two full arrows and they're circles. So that's 28. These three add up. To, uh, in fact, 28 divided by 2 is 14. So those two add up to 14. These two add up to 17. No, I've got... <laughs> I've got my sums wrong. They don't add up to 17. Oh, okay. If that's a 5, this is a 6. And these two are a pair adding up to 6. Oh, these three add up to 11. Sorry about what I said before. I've bobbins and tripe. These three add up to 11 because that is the same total as those two. That is the same total as that. And we know that those two add up to 11. So those three add up to 11. So these six, there it is, they add up to 34. I'm using the secret here, which is that every box adds up to 45 because it's a total of one to nine. Now, only tell people you trust. Um, so these six cells that I've got highlighted now add up to 34. And 34 is therefore twice the total of the arrows because that's the same as the total of the circles, which must therefore add up to 17 and are indeed 9 and 8. Right, that gives me a 9-8 pair there, so that's not a 9. Um, these add up to 11. I can't decide what that is. This can't be 8 now because of the 9-8 pair. Great, that puts 8 on this arrow, which is therefore a 1-8 arrow. And we are going to get a one. No, we're not. We, we're going to get a one here because of one there and one in those cells. So that's a one. This is an eight. That's quite interesting. No, maybe not. This arrow can't be nine, eight, seven or six now. So it's no more than five. Um, now, come on, let's just keep working this out. That 9 pair can't have a 1, 2, or 3 in it. That's a 4, 5. This is 3, 6, and 7. This, I was going to say it can't be a 3. Why not? It certainly can. Whatever this is, is there and in one of those two. Now, this can't be a 3 because of that arrow. So it's 6 or 7. It can't be a 6 or a 7 here because... 7, 6 would need a 1 there, and we've had a 1 in the box, so that's definitely 3. Now, 6 or 7 there because of the circle. This is 3 or 4 to make the addition work. That means this arrow is 5 or 6 by maths, and it can't be 5 because of that pair. 6, 4. Now we're going to finish a lot of digits in this puzzle. I predict 6 there. This is 8 on a 3, 5 arrow. The 7 is looking up here to give us 6, 7. We get 5 and 4 there. Now, this can't be 4. It's part of a 2, 3 pair. 7 can't be there and must be here. Maybe that's actually going to run out now. Oh, no. What's this? This can't be 7 or 8, but it's got to be bigger than 6. That's 9. 3 there. This isn't 9. That's where 9 goes in box 9. That's going to fix 8, 9. I think we're getting there now, actually. 8, 9 there. 8 is going to be there by Sudoku. That's the last place it can be in box 9. Oh, now we can surely use the yellow thing. I'm going to, I'm going to do it just so it wasn't wasted effort. 36 plus 1 is 37. And at least 1, 3 here is 42. The blues add up to 34 so far. Oh. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. I must have done the maths wrong. I think I'm fine. 36 plus 1 plus 3 and 1 is not 42. It's 41, which makes a big difference. Those add up to 34. That can be a 7, and we can just get to 41. So we get a 7 there, a 1-3 pair here. 
This can't be a 3, or we'd need yet another 3 on the arrow. That's a 1, 5, 3, 4. <clears throat> My voice is going. That's not a 4, 5 pair. That's 1, 8. This is 2 and 6. I think we're going to finish off before my voice goes. 6, 9, 7, 1, 8, 2, 3. That is now 4 or 5, like the cell below it. This is 6 and 2 down here. So that fixes 4 and 5, which fixes 3 and 5. Uh, that pair's not done. That's not done. This can't be an 8 on the arrow, the lateral arrow. So that's a 1. This is now 4 or 5 to make the sum work. That's a 4 5 pair, so we get 6 in the circle. Bounces back to the other side of the grid. We get a 3 here. That means this can't be 6, or we'd double the 3s. That's a 6, obviously. This is a 1 to make the sum work that I'd forgotten about. That's a 4. 3 and 2. Top 4 rows are all done. 4 there, 7 there, 1 there. Now it's just maths as quickly as we can. 5 and 4, 6 and 1 equals 7, that's fine. 3 and 2 equal 5, and that is the solution to gridlocked. We weren't quite fully gridlocked in the end. I, I went down a few false paths there. I guess if you were a valet parker trying to get all those cars out, it would be a bit like making a few moves that didn't quite work and then figuring out how to get them out. But uh, that was good fun. Thank you, Marusia, for that. And thank you, as always, for watching the channel. We do hope to see more of you, and we hope you'll see more of us. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.